This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, Deja Vu, or is it? This looks like an Optimus box, but what was inside is not. Well, almost not. This is a, from what, you know, the listing on AliExpress is a G1 KO replica of Black Convoy. Now, I don't know if we ever had a Black Convoy on shelf in North America. I do not believe so. Uh, and I don't even know if they had a Black Convoy in Japan or other areas in the world. Um, so, can this really be a KO if it's a kind of a just repaint of an original figure? I don't know. But uh, he came with stickers, which you can see here. And um, they're not great. So I have these stickers from Toy Hacks to, you know, turn him into Nemesis. Well, it says Nemesis because there's Decepticon logos, you know, here. But uh, if you can read here, it says Optimus Prime. So weird choice, I guess. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a quick look. It's the same figure, really. Uh, although higher quality than my KO Optimus Prime. Like the the joints are tighter. The uh, you know the leg is not broken. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun uh, just showing this to you guys after I apply the decals. I'm not gonna do it before and after. I'm gonna apply the, the stickers, then I'm gonna do a review. So there you go. Before I do that. I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very happy about. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, this is my second time shooting this review because the first time, uh, well, I was in a bad mood and uh, it didn't uh, come out uh, so great. But then as I was doing that shoot, I noticed tons of difference between these two figures. I really thought they were a straight repaint, but uh, apparently they're not. There's some slight differences. You know, if you take the gun, I don't know if it's gonna be hard to notice, but this is the Optimus Prime gun. This is the Nemesis gun. And uh, if you notice, the top part here, uh, this one sh is uh, larger or longer, but shorter. This one, you know, it's not the same thing. It's kind of hard to notice the black. Uh, this one is of a sh shinier plastic. Uh, the, um, what else? Yeah, there's molded details uh, on the barrel and they're not exactly the same kind of hard to show on camera but these one are more pronounced uh maybe because this one is painted it looks painted like this is molded plastic colored plastic sorry uh and the camera's having a hard time focusing on these so there's slight differences everywhere on the gun uh just enough to i don't know make it different but i i guess the black one is really a, a uh more of a ko uh, although the quality is pretty good, uh, even on the missiles that come for the pod, uh, the repair bay, um, the little bumps you know that you have on the tip are bigger on the Nemesis one. Uh, but you have to, I don't know, off camera it shows a lot more. And even the size of these things, uh, the one for Optimus is a little bigger and a little longer like just a bit so it's just weird uh, that they're so close yet different uh, this is the piece where it really uh, started where I really started noticing the differences this piece here I'm trying to put it in a good light there you go uh, the I'm trying to get it to focus there you go uh, if you notice, the details on the Optimus one for this part here 
are less pronounced than the one for uh, the Nemesis one. Uh, the bottom part here is molded a little differently, like just a bit. Uh, so yeah, it's just little things like that. Uh, the uh, rubber cord is bigger on the uh, uh, Nemesis one and I had to cut it and super glue it to get it into the nozzle. The nozzle is the same. Uh, even roller has uh, different things. If you, I don't know if I can try to hold both of these. Yeah, if you notice the front end, this is bigger than this, it's taller. Uh, the, this section is uh, bigger because this section here, it's shorter, kind of weird. Uh, but you know, even the, these are shorter on the Nemesis one. Uh, the little bumps here are shorter, less pronounced than on the uh, Optimus one. Um, even the seats are kind of, you know, just slightly less pronounced on the Optimus one. Um, yeah, and the wheels, the wheels, they, you know, it's actually they are different. If you go from this side, uh, these are full of plastic and these are hollow. Huh. So yeah, other differences. Uh, and then the figure itself. Uh, yeah, there's, you know, many differences too. I mean, they're great, both of them, like them. Uh, but there's one thing that's uh, really weird. And that's why I don't know which one is the better KO. This head has, like the fins here are more pronounced on Optimus. This is a less detailed um, front horn. Uh, just a bit. The eyes are the same. Uh, but the plate, this is where a plate, this is way more pronounced. If you look at it from this angle, it's uh, forward, like he has a jutting jaw. Uh, so it, I can put the Ultra Magnus head, no problem on this. Can do it on this guy because of the mouth plate. So yeah, so but I'm pretty sure back in G1, my friend had both uh, Optimus and Ultra Magnus, and we could fit that uh, Ultra Magnus head on Optimus. So. Is he the better KO now? Like, is he the more 1984 accurate than this? It's possible. But it, there's a, you know, slight uh, difference. Uh, the fists are, uh, well, the, I don't know if you can, you can tell, but the, uh, the fists are a little more detailed on Optimus. There's, uh, you have like this line here uh, that you don't have on the Nemesis one. It's kind of hard to, to, to see, but... And again, the details are... Oh, and the fist is bigger. You see the difference in size here? And more pronounced. So, the front grille kind of looks the same, although the... These uh, little parts here, they touch the, the, the sides, while here... They do not. Uh, it's not. Uh, is it the same wheels? Uh, yeah, no. Again, these are hollow bits, like not hollow nests, but there's you know bigger holes. Uh, these are smaller holes. So yeah, I really thought. I'm pretty sure I ordered these from the same company, like the same AliExpress store, uh, but they. They're different. See here, even on the the, the thigh, the uh, the rectangle here is bigger, uh, with more pronounced uh, uh, little. Those lines are longer. So the this is where you realize that these are KOs. Are the stacks the same? Uh, no, they're a, like a millimeter taller on Optimus. And that's about it. Uh, but they transform the, the, the same. Although I have to say that the gun on Optimus is super loose. Like if I play with it, it falls easily. While this one here, 
is very tight. It's not gonna move. So that's a, a plus, I guess. And the transformation is actually tighter in transformation. And I didn't have any problem with the leg. Like this leg here, if I just touch it a little bit, it's gonna, you know, pull back, kick backward. So yeah. Uh, I did apply the decals. I think the fact that uh, Toy Hacks did a Nemesis kit, it's not that different. The only thing really is the color of that uh, silver line, which actually is kind of a metallic blue on Nemesis. Uh, the uh, Decepticon logo, the color of the, like all the stickers are the same, uh, but uh, different colored. And then the, uh, the actually the, the Optimus Prime here came with Nemesis. I didn't put it there. I'm not gonna do that um, and also on the back of the trailer I'll show in a minute you also had an Optimus sticker on the Nemesis set which I don't think I had on the Optimus Prime set so so I used it on the Optimus trailer all right let me uh, well pull out the uh, trailer kind of had to change the angle for it uh, I don't know if you'll see oh well maybe you will okay so there are I mean you look at them briefly they look identical right but there is some details that are different uh, and it's minimal uh, the circle are smaller on nemesis that's one thing i notice uh, one thing that they added on the nemesis trailer you see the stickers they're the same it's the same toy hack set really i thought it was going to be different but uh, it really isn't the only real difference is that the stickers i just randomly placed uh, while this one I respected more the uh, uh, the ones on the side I mean I respected more the placement pattern um, one thing is that here there's a molded rectangle in the inside of the panel so that you can place a sticker within it these did not you had to kind of just put it there uh, these um, circle here that you have the traditional uh, details of the Optimus uh, trailer are uh, bigger than these. So you have bigger here and smaller, uh, uh, I mean, sm bigger on Optimus here and then bigger on Nemesis here. Kind of weird. Um, and the rest is extremely accurate, except there's some very, very minute uh, details like i don't know if you'll see it on camera okay i'm gonna focus on this section here uh the details are bigger on nemesis uh on optimus and if you look at this section here you see that uh, kind of screw detail i'm trying to there you go that screw detail here it's not at the same angle go figure so yeah, it's just little details. The drone, you know, this here is a little longer on, or maybe it's just the, the paint. But I mean, it's like if I was to take a ruler and show it to you, like there's a millimeter off here and there. But the quality is still good, you know. Um, well, well, see, there you go, the missile just fired. Um, you don't have, uh, well, you do have some changes with the antenna, uh, well, some. It's just that uh, this one is a little thicker, a little bigger than this detail here. Uh, there's no hole here. There's a, well, a circle, not a hole. Uh, there's a big line in the middle here. Here you, uh, and then there's no uh, no hole. Uh, here there's, not a hole, a dot. There's a dot here with, you know, so it's just slight variation. And I know that they've done a lot of different Optimus Prime in Generation 1, like there's uh, Rub, Pre-Rub, 1983, 84, 85, uh, there's possibly an 86, um, I think, because of the movie. Like, it's it's just, there's so many versions, did they change and correct as they went? I don't know, like, would I, I'm i thinking it was, a you know, from Rub to Pre, from Pre-Rub to Rub, I'm assuming that the only difference was the rub symbol. Was it a different head sculpt? Was it, you know, like little details like that. So anyway, let uh, let me show you uh, the, this guy in uh, alt mode. Okay, and just, uh, you know, I thought maybe 
when I'm talking about like different version, uh, you know, maybe that they were going to be uh, one is based on the 1985 version of Optimus Prime, one the and the other one on 1983. You know, but uh, I don't know if I look at the uh, KO stamp, uh, they're both from 1980-1982. So Diaclone mode, I don't know. But you know, even from underneath, uh, they look pretty much the same. Uh, except this part here really different this is like larger uh, with um, smoother details these are finer details uh, but it, it's not the same uh, I don't gas tank uh, not gas tank but you know something to do with cars uh, even the sides here are a little different they're not the same size so yeah there's a little things like that but the tr both trailer look uh, good. I'm gonna put them here so that you can see I've added the toy hacks decal on this one here. Uh, it actually came with Optimus decals, but I uh, removed it to put that uh, Nemesis, that Decepticon uh, logo, and I really dig it. Uh, I'm missing a rub symbol. Uh, maybe I'll get uh, something uh, from Toy Hacks again. Uh, cab mode, really hard to see any difference uh, other than what I've already uh, mentioned. So, things I notice in transformation though, Optimus is looser. Uh, this one's really tighter. Even the, the hand, to put it in there, the hands fit way tighter uh, because these uh, on Optimus, they kind of just fall off. Um, but I mean, it's... Pretty much the same. Like I said, the wheels are different. The stack is a little longer on Optimus. Um, I didn't count all the little steel rivet. Maybe they're different, uh, but I don't know. It's just little things that make it a little different. But I love all of these too. Uh, they're great. They they're great chaos. The quality is still good. Sure, I think this one is higher quality because everything is so much tighter on it, uh, so much um, solid. Uh, there's no, no no fiddly part. You know, if I shake it, I don't hear like click, 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 like I do with Optimus. So uh, Black Convoy is, to me, a better KO. Uh, I think this is this one is more accurate to what we had in G1 because the Ultra Magnus had fit on him. So that's my childhood memory tells me that uh, this would be more accurate but yeah so I don't do a lot of comparison videos um, I actually I think this might be my first one I know I did double reviews for uh, pipes and uh, huffer together um, but that's about it so let me know what you think did you enjoy this did you find it interesting to see all the difference uh, between the little KOs um, you know, it, uh, or, you know, um, am I condemned because I do buy KOs? Uh, I think it's more accepted now um, from uh, a collecting point of view because not everybody has a budget to acquire an entire G1 set. I have no problem with, you know, buying KOs. The problem I would have is somebody selling it as an original. That would be just despicable, you know? I know it's a KO, and if I ever sell these figures, not gonna happen, but if I do, I'm gonna say this is a KO. So, but the quality, it's pretty much the same as what we had back in 84. So, it's uh, to me, it's a good deal. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.